Hey Star Wars fans, welcome to my kitchen table and another Black Series uh, six inch figure review. Um, I didn't do the first one I got of this quite a while ago, it was probably over a year, um, but I managed to track this down. I didn't track it down, I just come across it on a uh, sale group on Facebook and it was at a price that I couldn't couldn't let go to grab another one of these heavy stormtroopers. Um, it allows for many variations of, of the First Order Stormtrooper. You could keep it regular, um, you could have the have the heavy gunner there, the sort of sergeant on the front, and then the uh, one with the baton on the back. So on the back of the box here, we've got a look at some diagrams of all the accessories. And the three troopers at the top. So uh, the presentation of this box is really nice. Um, so you slip that sleeve over and you get this pretty neat looking first order door. And that just velcros open. Now I can't remember what this was exclusive for, um, but I'll be sure to add that into the description before I upload the video. So here you have it. Pretty nice packaging. I like it a lot. I think it's great. Um, Again, like it's, it's, we've got so many of these accessories before. I've got, I can't tell you how many of these shields that I have, um, because I got so many of those two packs with the First Order Stormtrooper and Poe Dameron. Um, but yeah, I've got so many of those shields and the uh, original fold down baton. So, uh, what I might do, pop that out the front here. You can pop out these. Now this is the uh, fold-out one. The initial version, the initial release of that trooper didn't have a fold-out one. So it was pretty nice. You do have the shield, which that particular trooper just threw on the ground anyway. did just have a little hiccup there. You do have this little pouch. It's got a little clip so it can attach the uh, belt. If you can hear some noises, it's my dog sniffing around. He's got his backpack here, which looks nice. It's got the quad knocks. Quad noculars, they look nice too. So they just sort of fold down. Fairly convenient. And they're pretty nice. Next we've got the, uh, the sort of heavy strapping with all the pouches and stuff. Simply just goes over his shoulders and sits on front like that. It's quite good. So we've got the three pieces that make up the heavy blaster. So uh, you could have him just holding it as is, um, much like the heavy stormtroopers use in uh, in Battlefront 2. Now, just trying to remember how to do this. So yeah, that will peg into the into the back there. Nah. We'll just peg into there. So the back leg just gives it a little bit little bit of extra support when it's on display. May need to get a little it's not quite it's not quite straight and flat so I may have to give that a rinse under some hot water to get it to flex back into its proper shape. And last but not least we come with the standard First order weapons, you get the small pistol, which I'm forgetting the name of. That's the one that just has the little tab on the side so you can peg it onto his leg. And then we have the standard F11D Stormtrooper Blaster for the first order. So let's take the trooper out. Now this is the uh, this is based on the sculpt of the Last Jedi, which was slightly different, um, ever so slightly. It's a little bit more rigid on the uh, on the front of the mouth there. 
otherwise this figure was complete uh, repack of the original that was released in the first wave of Force Awakens Black Series figures. Um, this could this is probably close to number 16 or 17 for me I think um, but I'm gonna dress this guy up in his heavy gear so I've got two heavy guys in terms of articulation is it a ball jointed head and ball hinged neck ball hinged shoulders ball hinged elbows which unfortunately is the only downside to these is they don't really get a lot of articulation in those elbows but uh, the new Sith Trooper that's just come out of San Diego Comic Con has uh, fixed that issue. Uh, we've got a joint at the upper torso there. Uh, ball hinge at the wrists. Ball hinge at the hips. Swivel at the top of the thigh there. Double joints in the knees. And ball hinged ankles. So a pretty nice articulation. Well, let's, uh, let's suit him up. Now again, to get this plastic to sort of soften up a little bit, you may want to um, just run it under some warm water, some hot water in the sink. Uh, just watch your fingers. Maybe hold it with a pair of tongs or something. Or you can... Uh, yeah, all, all that does is just loosens up the plastic a little bit, softens it, makes it more malleable um, and easier to, easier to pose. So I may even do that myself just to get it to sit there a little bit, but a bit nicer than it is now. onto the back of that and there you have him I like this this version of the trooper it's nice to have a couple of these guys sort of in with my squad hope you've enjoyed this video live and direct from my kitchen table my dining room table sorry I'll be back with some more videos very soon. Until then, thank you very much for watching, as always, and may the force be with you.